small four by four this morning. Get in the canyon. We got two bowls down the way. We're gonna go try to dance in between. Colin and it's the second day and it was fun this morning finally dropped into some topography and we're chasing bulls all morning really responsive to bugles um, across the canyon got up here and crawled up a cliff and unfortunately <laughs> there's a really dumb elk over here and I just can't happen to get close enough to shoot it or maybe the lanes blocked but we're having a ton of fun and the weather's nice we had some success this morning probably until 9 30 staying on the shaded side of the hill um, pulled the or followed the bulls all the way from a couple canyons over, crossed three canyons, and you know, went a mile or so. And I'm gonna head back to camp and get some lunch and try to kill an elk on the way back to the truck. How, how do you feel about elk hunting in the real thick trees? It's uh, it's kind of a jungle. It's a little bit demoralizing because you can get the elk. You can get it right there. You know, there's elk all over this place, but um, you know, getting within range or getting a, a shooting lane or you know with so many pine needles and sticks on the ground it's really just 
you got to pay attention and everything's kind of got to fall into place and we passed a good bull this morning we passed a it was a six by four but the top end was broken off so now it's not like we're not having opportunities but really just haven't seen the bull we wanted to get yet All right, so it's day four, um, flying so low, the help has gone home. This morning got in on a really good bull and just kind of how the hunt's been, didn't really line up for me. Uh, had an opportunity, but you know, I think that's kind of how this hunt goes. So I'm gonna crack one bugle, see if I can't get a response. So we got one bugle off in the distance. Let's go, fingers crossed, baby. So it's five o'clock, um, heard one lone bugle from the truck, chased it a um, thousand yards, called him in on a bugle, uh, six point bull, wasn't really big. So I see his tracks coming down right here. Um, I got the blood trail started right here. First drops of blood. Picked up the first drop of blood on that wood. That's just a couple yards from where I shot him. And you can kind of see a little bit more blood there on the wood. And his track's going downhill. So I'm pretty positive I heard him go tumble over. So we'll see. I'm gonna do my best to put a recovery on this bull. I um, really hope that he didn't suffer. So here we go. down I did it baby I did it came out here solo baby Woo I did it <laughs> oh man oh man holy cow yes yes I did it oh thank god Whew. man he's maybe 100 yards from where I shot it thank god so much man I'm so extremely thankful for this opportunity man Drew this tag back to back years and I really wasn't sure what to expect coming into this year and really just wanted to kill a bigger elk than I did last year and um, you know he came into the hunt and got onto a lot of different bulls had a couple of my best friends out here man and I was just really grateful for that time that that we spent together and the further I got into the hunt you know the more I realized you know maybe not all about the inches it's not all about you know maybe your belief of what the hunt is but how cool man I did that all by myself I called that bull in checked the wind what an incredible feeling um, just want to thank Dylan I want to thank Colin I want to thank God I want to thank my friends my family for supporting me through this man what an awesome feeling I can just see him right up there and uh I can't wait to get my hands on them. Well, that's all she wrote, folks. Uh, my 2018 archery 5A bull elk. Um, very happy with him, man. He's got six on one side, growing a little devil tine down here. Broke off on the other, so he's only got a five. He's missing a sixth. Um, you know, I saw bigger bulls on this hunt, but I felt this was the this was the one and. Just the way it all kind of set up, I, I really didn't want to pass on the opportunity. So I'm grateful to have taken this bowl and 
really grateful for the meat and the horns and just all smiles today. So thank the Lord and it's got to get out. We need to get out of this canyon in a couple hours. It's going to get dark real soon. <laughs>